Okay, in this video we're going to solve a differential equation known as an Euler equation. And so those are of the form ax squared y double prime plus bx y prime plus c y equals zero. And so um, their solutions follow the following format. So if pr is equal to this polynomial in the variable r of a r times r minus 1 plus b r plus c, and it has roots r1 and r2, then if you have distinct real roots, then you have a solution that c1 x to the r1 plus c2 x to the r2. If you have repeated real roots, then you have c1 plus c2 natural log of x times x to the r1. And if you have complex conjugate roots, then you get this solution down here that, in that includes sines and cosines. <clears throat> okay, so in this video, we're going to solve uh, this example of an Euler equation. We're going to do it two different ways by using a result of the theorem, and we're also going to be doing it from scratch by uh, guessing that a solution will be of a certain form, um, because sometimes people who are teaching a differential equations class would rather you do it this second way. So uh, let's look, maybe solution uh, number one, and that is use the theorem. <clears throat> so that means we have A equals one, and then we have B equals zero and C equals negative six, which tells us that our polynomial P of R is R times R minus one, minus 6, good, which is going to be r squared minus r minus 6, and notice that thing factors like r minus 3, r plus 2, so that tells us we have um, two real roots and they are not repeated, and so our real roots are um, positive 3 and negative 2, which that tells us that our solution is of the form uh, c1x cubed plus c2 times 1 over x squared, or obviously x to the negative 2. Okay, good. So this is uh, solution 1 using the theorem. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll do solution number 2, which is building the solution from scratch. Okay, so now we're ready to do solution number 2. So uh, here we would guess that the solution of the, is of the form y equals x to the r. Um, and that tells us that y prime equals r times x to the r minus 1, and y double prime equals r times r minus 1, x to the r minus 2. Okay, great. And now, putting that into the differential equation gives us the following. So we have x squared times r, r minus 1, x to the r minus 2, minus... 6 times x to the r. So notice that's going to simplify down to r times r minus 1 minus 6 times x to the r. Good. And now uh, what we'll want to look for is a region where um, we know x to the r is continuous uh, for any values of x. So at this point, we're going to restrict ourselves to 0 to infinity. And I should have said over here that this um, solution gives us a solution on that interval anyway. But now notice that gives us um, the following polynomial. So if x is between 0 and infinity, that means that x to the r is never 0, which tells us that we have this polynomial equals 0, but that has the same solutions that it had previously which gives us the same solution, c1 x cubed plus c2 x to the minus 2, or c2 over x squared. Okay, so uh, that's the end of this example.